All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. The, the boys are back. We about to get back into the real talk of around the league. You know, we all got to talk a little bit about our squads, and then we all pick another squad throughout the NFL, see what's going on, you know, give you the truth, the real, what's fake, what's not, you know. We'll give none of that, that, that PR spin, none of the mainstream media shit. we let you know how it is. So we'll go ahead and, and start this one off because, you know, my Colts had that epic collapse and it needs to be discussed. <laughs> so, Jeff, let me go ahead and send you a link real quick. Actually, I'll just send you it later. So let me go ahead and start with my boys. Uh, so I don't know if y'all caught the game or not. Jeff, did you catch your Colts Viking games? Yeah, I watch every minute of that. Damn, every minute. Damn, Kevin, try to make it sound a little good. All right, Ryan, how about you? Yeah, man, actually, it was so good that uh, I was watching on the phone. And that was, it was just impressive. Even the overtime, we didn't, I mean, uh, Troy and Mike was watching on my phone at, a, at the park for Mike's daughter's birthday party. And we wouldn't even leave to go home until that game was done. Watch it on the car hood, bro. <clears throat> Making it work at the at the kids' birthday party. Yeah, yeah that's bro. what it is, huh? Hey, you know, fantasy like... playoffs just started. That, that kicked it off, so. Right? Everything yeah. was on the line. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. Try to double right. foot, man. Yeah, I hate hey. that guy. Yo. That was a clutch pickup for you, right? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind, because in that league, you uh, had you know, that one. What's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did have Dalvin and uh, <clears throat> the, the Dirty Dozens, right? No, League and, uh, League of Boom. Oh, League of yeah. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I so had Dalvin and Dirty Dozens, too. Actually, if I probably wouldn't have traded his ass, I probably would have made the playoffs. Told you right. not to trade him. Told you. Right. He'd be traded guys for peanuts that. sometimes. Uh, I'm like, damn. Hey, let the guy go for that's it. it was, hey. The thing I, was that, hey. like, this is I'll the thing. I'll just working for you, bro. If, so this is the thing. If the trade would have worked out, if um, what's the if Robinson wasn't a complete bum the whole season, and Kenny uh, Allen didn't get hurt, then I would have been great. Like my team would have been for sure in the playoffs. Because all like there's three games where I lost like by like ten points. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have anybody with any like real depth to put in there when Keenan yeah. Allen and Michael Thomas and Allen, like basically Robinson ain't doing shit. Like you know what I'm saying? So there was just a, there was like the um the flex spots where I needed just like somebody to just to put up a regular game, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't didn't do it, and I ended up losing by three or four points or you know eight, nine, ten points. So yeah, but you know in that league it was so close that if I would have had three extra games, I would have definitely made it in there. Honestly, I wouldn't even have been the last seed. So yeah. You live and you learn, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to Jeff. That's what you want. Listen to Jeff. Listen to Jeff. All right. So, don't tell y'all how I beat him back to back weeks, though. You're right, though. I don't think I've seen that before. No, he Jeff. beat me. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh. Oh. I don't care. No, oh. Bro. Oh. We're all fighting for a second. Jeff. Place. Jeff, try with the rebuttal. He beat out. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's okay. I beat him way. last year. I beat him last year in two leagues. I think I win. <laughs> okay. Kick them out. Two playoffs. Oh, no. I think I win. <laughs> yeah, two playoffs? Yeah. Uh, in the same week. So I think dude. I win. <laughs> People talking about old things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, really? Old bad. things. Okay. Okay, I remember that. Don't worry. I remember <laughs> It's all good. It was a bad year for me too, Ryan. Me too. It's a bad year for me too, Ryan. I don't yeah. know what happened with this season, but anything I thought was right was wrong. Anything was upside down. Will said I came in the game wrong. <laughs> right <laughs> from jump. Uh, I don't know how all, all my teams just never panned out how they're supposed to. But we're not talking about that right now. Let's go back on topic. I saw my. I saw my Colts, you know, the first half was rolling, steamrolling them Viking boys. You feel me? They got the 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 special team touchdown, you know, they got a turnover. Even Matt Ryan threw a touchdown. My boys like, hey, let, let me jump in the party. I'll go and contribute one touchdown for the game too. Feel me? So we out, we out, you know, 
we got off to 33 0 start. And you know what's crazy? I'm yeah. sorry to cut you off. I was going to say, I literally was telling Mike and Troy that, man, they should go ahead and pull Jonathan Taylor out the game before he get hurt. You know what I'm saying? And just let whoever else take over and manage the game. And then right after that, I think it was two plays and he got hurt. Yeah, you're right. They shut down for the season now. They're like, yeah. all right, man, go ahead and just heal up. That we ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, then boys started feeling themselves for a little bit. And then what happened in the second half is I don't know why coaches play like this, but coaches be playing not to lose. So when I went back and look at the tape, just because when I was watching, I was working. So it's every now and then I got to go ahead and see what's going on. So I went back and replayed everything. What happened is the first half, they played the, the normal defenses. They'll play, they'll, um, you know, play tight. Don't give the receivers too much room at all. The receivers, again, they are shut down the first half. As you see, zero points. So I'm like, man, they on these receivers. Jefferson shut down. Thielen shut down. Uh, KJ Osborne shut down. Noble was able to get, I mean, I guess they got two first downs or something. But they really wasn't uh, even close to scoring touchdowns like that. So um, the defense was like a lot of cover match, a lot of man. They, they mix in the zone every now and then. So, you know, keep, keep the offense guessing, like, well, what they going to do now for this drive? Well, what are they going to do now for this down? So shit was working. So we got so a nice little nice little lead. The defense was on the field most of the time, but it didn't matter. But second half, how about these boys change the whole defensive scheme? Now they're playing zone almost the whole second half. And they're giving these receivers five, eight, ten yards cushion. So they're basically playing pitch and catch the whole second half. If y'all go back and see the first half, those DBs give probably two yards of space when they hike the ball. Second half, those DBs five yards, eight yards down the field. I'm like, yo. I mean, Kirk Cousins is about to about to slice you up because all he's gonna do is set a hike, do a quick little outplay, completion, seven yards here, eight yards here, five yards here, and then they're getting first downs. They're rolling, and once you give QBs in the league a little consistency, and they start to film little repetition then they could take the big shots the long shots on the down the field because they they already have the feel of the game going for them you give them that momentum so the the whole second half i'm thinking all right they're playing prevent they don't want nothing big over the top to beat them in one player two so they're like all right we'll, we'll we'll make them dink and dunk the whole time and we'll try to eat up clock and trying to keep everybody in front of us that stuff only works in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. You don't do stuff like that in the second half, third quarter on. Because then the offense start getting way too confident when, they, when this completion starts happening every drive, every drive, every drive. So the next thing you know, they're scoring touchdowns. And then the defensive coordinator never changed it. It's like, okay, once there's a one-possession game, like, all right, Clearly, this prevent defense ain't working. Maybe you should go back to what you're doing in the first half. Nope. They stuck with it the whole entire game, and eventually it caught up to them, and they lost by three points. And that's that. Simple as that. The defense cost the game because they start playing soft zone coverage and prevent defense for the rest of the second half, trying to not let nobody get behind them and giving these the receivers little completions or medium-sized completions all the way up and down the field till the game was over. So how do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like several defensive coordinators be doing that. Once they get a little lead, then they change the defensive scheme. The stuff they've been game planning all week long gets thrown out the window, and then they're like, let's just play it safe so nobody's burning us for a touchdown. And then now you let a whole bunch of underneath stuff get completed, and then you get let the offense feel themselves, and then they start taking the deep shots. So let's go and start with Jeff first, man. So do you agree with that, or do you think you play aggressive the whole game and just take your chances? 
Well, I feel like it's not really a bad method considering that you guys were up um thirty three to zero. So it's not a bad method. I guess um your coach didn't expect for your offense to just stall. Because that whole second half, including overtime, you guys only made one field goal. So, yes, even though they're playing prevent, if your offense would have scored like one or two touchdowns, I mean, you guys scored like three or four that first half. If you just scored one or two, then it would have been enough for you to win. But the fact that your offense only scored a field goal, that's when it's like, okay, maybe you guys could have played, should have played more aggressive. Because looking back, your offense wasn't really clicking. It was your team clicking. Exactly. Special teams defense, um, special team touchdowns, defensive touchdowns. Then you guys had one running and one passing. So it wasn't really like your offense was clicking. It's more like your team as a collective unit. So, yeah, maybe you should have played more aggressive. Maybe you should have realized, okay, our offense is really not like that. We just were just clicking at that certain point. So let's, you know, play um, like more aggressive on defense. So, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. All right, Ryan, how about you? Yeah, personally, I just feel like you guys. Hear me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, personally, I just feel like y'all should have just kept attacking. To be honest, um, you know, you guys don't have a history of like blowing people out this season at all, and it's like no reason to just let them continue to come back. Like I can see, okay, they got one, two touchdowns. Okay, about the third touchdown, now you like, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta just figure out a way to move the ball and run out the clock. You know what I'm saying? There was no way they should have been able to get the ball back so quickly in the fourth quarter, like two times. So, like, I, I feel like it was like seven, eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. They got the ball back twice in that time. There, there was no way you can afford to do a, a, you know, a three and out in that situation. So they should at least try to press the ball down the field. Everybody knows the Vikings defense is not that good. So how the hell did this all of a sudden shut y'all down? Yeah. 30, 32nd ranked defense in the NFL. That's dead last. So you're gonna well, tell me Matt Ryan couldn't beat the dead last defense in the league. It's about time to retire. So just like Jeff said before the, the, the show started, that's so why I was waiting. I'm like, hey, Jeff Wright. <laughs> <laughs> that game sent Matt Ryan to retirement because it looked hey, and let everybody know, like, yo, if you can't beat this team, you can't beat no other defense because they don't work. I'm telling you right now, that game, I think, ruined his legacy, dog. Like, that game is going to be, like, a big stain on his record. Because before – because, you know, it's crazy. I saw a little video um, randomly on Twitter. I saw Carson Palmer doing an interview. And I was like, oh, Carson Palmer, he was a decent quarterback. I would have thought the same thing about Matt Ryan, but after that, I'd be like, oh, that guy can't hold leads. That guy, no, that, that's all about me. I'm, I'm going to remember, oh, you're the quarterback that has the two worst comebacks ever. <laughs> like, that's immediately what I'm going to think to. Rather than thinking, oh, you're Atlanta passing leader, you won MVP, you were in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to think about those things. I'm going to think, oh, you had the two worst comebacks in NFL history done on you. That game ruined his legacy. It's over. It's done for him, and that sucks because I think before it was a fringe Hall of Famer. Now it's like, nah. <laughs> don't even yeah, put him on the ballot. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't even vote for him. It's so <laughs> bad. It literally, like, before, like, I think we all agree, Matt Ryan had a better career than Carlson Palmer. Like, neck and neck. Yeah. But I think Carlson Palmer in high regard than Matt Ryan because of those two comebacks. And that's insane to me. I was really scrolling down Twitter. I was like, oh, Carson Palmer is a decent quarterback. I don't think about that for my Ryan no more. <laughs> and that's sad. Stop. That's sad. I can't, even, I can't defend Matt Ryan, man. After the season he had for the Colts, at first I was saying it's the O-line because the O-line was getting torn apart and pressure to get to the backfield so they snapped the ball so many times. But after Jeff Saturday came in town and took over, the O line been looking pretty decent. I'm like, okay, they're giving you time. Now what's your excuse? So I see Matt Ryan looking at the first read that it there, second read that it there, and by the time the third read coming, he's getting sacked. So I was like, okay, you don't have time to look at three reads all the time. It's one, two, throw the ball away. Yeah. But not Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan made one, two. Oh shit, sack. Oh shit, fumble. Oh shit, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. That guy looking lost. I'm mm. like, yo. 
you're a what 15 year veteran like you should yeah. know it's like you're the you're the leader of the football team you should know exactly what to do what to expect you should know what where the defense where the blitz coming from you should know all that so if your guys are not open get rid of the ball live to fight another drive this the guy thing I is, you know like you said 15 years veteran you would think by this time you know kind of enough to wing it you know even if you don't, you can't get a big play, you know, enough to wing it a, a few drives, right? I'm yeah. trying to figure out what is the disconnect. Is it that you can't move as fast or your brain can't process the, the defense as fast? I mean, because how much more defense can there be different in 15 years? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no sense to me. It's not like the position has changed. No, nope. it's cornerbacks, it's linebackers, linemen. You know, they didn't, like, they didn't add a new defensive player. Yeah, like, <laughs> ain't, ain't no know? new position out of nowhere. You're right. What ha- What I've seen a lot in the season is the guy is stuck trying to make the first read happen, and if it doesn't happen, he panics. So it's like, all right, hike Michael Pittman. Oh shit, he's covered. Now who? And by the time he's looking for someone else, he doesn't. He doesn't get the ball out of his hands, and then it's either a sack because he's probably top five in, in sacks in the, in the season, and he had a couple games off from injury, and yeah. Ellinger taking over, and he's still like top five. So he's he's terrible in this in decision making. And then second of all, I don't know what happened. I feel like in the Falcons, he used to always take what the defense gave him, and if that doesn't work out, look for his running backs. He doesn't look for the running backs with the Colts. I was like, yo, we be looking, we we be having uh dump offs set in the in, in the play. So if someone's not open, look to the flats. The running backs in the flats, he'll get you four or five yards. He doesn't even look that way. Like most of the season, I'm like, you don't even do that now. At least Philip Rivers did that. My boy Philip Rivers had no arm, but he had accuracy and he had anticipation. He said, we practice all week. You're supposed to be at this spot. So when I say hi, two seconds later, I'm throwing the ball in that spot. <laughs> so he, he'll spawn the ball there. If you're there, you're going to catch it. If not, it's incomplete or defense going to be around it. Matt Ryan can't even do that for you. So I'm like, Duh. you're supposed to be on the same level as Phillip Rivers. And you clearly are not. And you're a year younger. And you've been to a Super Bowl. So you kind of had more higher highs than and Phillip Mark Rivers. Cash, yeah. So and yeah, and and he was an MVP. So yeah. he he clearly had more cachet, more clout than Philip Rivers. But Philip Rivers played like a real veteran, even though he didn't have that arm strength no more. And the DBs knew it. They knew I better be on it because he'll put the ball right behind me, right in front of me. And if I'm not there to help get to it, it's gonna be a completion. Not my Ryan. My Ryan should be floating. He be indecisive. He be looking lost. He don't look like a 15 year veteran. So it's about time. Go ahead and call it the last year, homie. You're done. Hopefully, you get a job on CBS, Fox, or ESPN because nobody's giving a starting job in the league after this season, man. That's another one. Now I feel like Philip Rivers is better than him. Before it was comparable. But now I was like, nah, I'll give it to Philip Rivers. Even though he won the MVP and been to a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Philip Rivers hasn't done either. Sad, bro. It's crazy to think that he won an MVP. Yeah. I mean, he was a first-round first quarterback out of Boston College. He had a nice yeah. squad. I mean, he had Julio in the prime, in his prime. He had uh, yeah. uh, Tony Gonzalez. Roddy so, White uh, for a little bit. And, yeah, Roddy White. Turner. Michael Turner, yeah. yeah. Boys, he had some dogs out there that and let those guys play. So I feel like well, the stars kind of elevated him more than he. You're breaking up, Harrison. Did for them. So, because a lot of times you'd. Think you think quarterback makes the players like, like uh, Peyton Manning or a Tom Brady? Oh, you can't hear me. It's like lagging. 
Can Man, my freaking it's light like, bulb is twitching. Yeah, it's just it's <laughs> wild that it happened at this time. It was like, oh, he's trying to go back to Colts' heyday, which nobody cares about. And, <laughs> and then the computer was like, basically, let's stop you there. All right, so y'all can hear me then. Yeah, we can hear you. You can hear me? All right, cool. So, yeah, basically what I'm trying to get to the bottom line is Matt Ryan sucks. He needs to retire. Out with the old <laughs> and with the new. <laughs> hey, but, hey, is it is it these quarterbacks or is it y'all team? Because at this point, we don't have, what, three quarterbacks? They never looked this bad, though. Like, Jacoby was better. Philip Rivers was the best. I thought y'all should have kept Philip. And even we Carson Wentz wasn't that bad. We want to keep Philip. Uh, Ballard was Before, ready. To get I, I have forgot about Wentz. I was thinking of Jacoby, Ryan, yeah. and uh, Rivers. I know it's every year it's a new one, so I don't blame me for getting yeah. it. <laughs> you got to be a Colts fan to ask you to remember. <laughs> Y'all have four. Good four years. The crazy thing is the quarterbacks. Uh, other places was doing a little bit better than they were on y'all team. Um, I don't know about that. Because first yeah. of all, first of all, Carson Wentz is definitely better at Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. No, 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 he got ran out of town in Philadelphia. That's why he the came last out. year. Yeah, the last I year. He was playing hurt though. No, they drafted Jalen Hurts, and they, Jalen Hurts took over his job after. Carson Wentz did nothing but bonehead mistakes game after game. Philadelphia fans start turning on him. Tell him, get that guy out of here. He's garbage now. Because, you know, he came back from that injury from the years before. So after he had those major injuries, he, he was never the same. So he used to be the... He used to be like their little Superman. Uh, we still got Carson, so we're still in the game. After all that died down, they're like, okay, he's done. Get him off our well, roster. Carson was going pretty good earlier in the year at the Redskins. Oh, so. you're talking about this season? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying now. Yeah. Yeah. This, so, this, I mean, season, this season, he he had a little month, month little run, you know, but after that month was up, well, it's a little that. run with the Redskins, but if it was with y'all, it'd be, oh, he he did number one. QB I mean, one. First of all, first of all, Carson Wentz had a great <laughs> year. He had a great year with the Colts. Jeff, let him know. It was like 27 <laughs> touchdowns. Um, seven so interceptions. Seven he interceptions. Did good, but y'all didn't want him. I don't get it. He's not the guy, I, right? He's not the I guy. Mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's part of the protocol. We get, get one and then we let him go. Get one, let it go. Get one, let it go. See, so not, traffic, not who y'all who y'all, gra- who y'all gonna grab this year, bro? Because y'all obviously. Uh, uh, I think Will Levis Jr. Will Levis Jr. I think that's the. I'm, I'm manifesting it for him. Will Levis Jr. You know what? That's all I've been here on the podcast. That's all who everybody wants. I mean, I at first didn't really want him either. But after seeing the bunch of tapes, it's like, ah, who else are we going to get? It's like, it's either Anthony Richardson, Will Levis. If we're lucky, C.J. Stroud. I mean, but now I don't even know if I want him because he's not mobile. He's one of those pocket passers. Like, give him a good old line and he'll deliver. But if the old line is not good and shaky, then if he has to make plays with his legs and be on the run, he ain't good at that. So... I don't even know what to be excited about anymore. It's like, man, if you don't have Bryce Young, <laughs> you don't have no sure things going for you. So I don't know, man. I wouldn't even say Bryce Young is a sure thing because <clears throat> I feel like if if Caleb Williams was coming out and um, – Yeah, he would be number one. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, also, for sure. The, the quarterback from North Carolina, nah. he did will something. Um, nah, I don't know about North Carolina. He, uh, I think you're reaching. You're reaching for that. Bryce Young will be over North Carolina. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. He dude this dude got offered a couple of hundred million dollar NI deals, NIL deals. Yeah, bro. A couple hundred million. No, 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 Isn't not hundred million. Not million. A couple million. <laughs> and they've been. So did Bryce been Young. Kind of bro, I'm telling you, dude's dude's definitely up there on the radar, man. He's it's because yeah. it's after he's like six three. He's like six three two something, I wanna say. 
<clears throat> so he, he's more of an NFL style Q- QB. You know what I'm saying? So I've been hearing a lot of stuff about him. So I honestly I think, think that Bryce Young would probably go third or fourth if he was coming out. If those two were coming nah, out this year. Nah. I think talking about Drake, Stroud, I think talking about Drake May. Drake May was he, he had a good year for North Carolina, so he's good. I seen him beat up by my Miami Hurricane, so I'm not gonna deny he is good, but he's not Bryce Young. So Bryce Young's clear cut yeah, number one. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I thought Will. I don't know why I'm thinking of Will. I think I'm thinking of somebody else saying Will Doughty or something like that. But yeah, nah, no. but yeah, Drake Mills legit because I seen him make a lot of passes, completions, hard throws. I mean, the linebacker's covering the the running back, but he still threw it to the running back. He's like, oh. I run back, I step on your linebacker, I'm letting the rock go. And he completing them. I'm like, okay. So uh, your defense better come correct and knock down, knock the football down because he's going to take those chances and deliver the football. So yeah, it says, it says dude is 6'4". Yeah, I mean, he's good. I ain't going to lie, he's good. But but I'm still taking um, I'm still taking Bryce Young over him and for sure taking Kev Williams over him. Because first of all, Bryce Young plays in SEC. So uh, <laughs> Drake May is over there in the in the ACC. ACC, yeah, the ACC. So I'm like, ACC football's all right, but they ain't. They ain't. Bryce they Young got a super up team, and he couldn't make it out the SEC. Come on, no, 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 no. See, Bryce Young didn't have a super up team. You know who had a super up team? Tua and Mac Jones, because they had wide receivers that went in the first round. Bryce Young. I don't know if he's got any wide receivers going in the first round of this draft. So he okay. didn't have a souped up team. It was those other quarterbacks that had a souped up team. Bryce Young made the best of what he had. He actually had a down year because the receivers weren't as good. If he still had um, – He's not as good. No, nah, Bryce Young is the man. Like, Bryce Young does – y'all don't understand. This guy is clutch because in the fourth quarters, when there's pressure, he doesn't panic. I've seen a lot of quarterbacks panic. He ain't panicking. He's like, I know where my reads are supposed to be. If my guys aren't there, I'm throwing the ball away or I'm running. So I'm like, okay, I like that. He has his head on straight. So if you give him a NFL roster, you give him real weapons, he's going to try to get the play done. If it's not done, he's going to throw it away. He ain't going to be like CJ Stroud, who's panicking. I'm like, man, the number two prospect in the draft has QB. Be panicking. I don't even know if I want you on my squad because my old line's not that great. So if 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 the D line gets back there a few times, what's gonna happen? Are you gonna Matt Ryan? It's like, is there gonna be fumbles or interceptions? Uh, what's gonna happen back there? Like, I need you to not be scared if pressure hits you. I need you to know what you're gonna do when adversity hits you. So I gotta disagree with you on that, Ryan. Yeah, I'm I'm you. we'll see, bro. I just don't have no faith in my man. You have no faith in another Alabama QB. Oh, I mean, who can get the ball in Tyreek Hill? Damn, I mean, mm-hmm. it, when you say he was on the Eagles, bro, it looked like um, he would look like what's the name from Chicago? Justin um, Fields. Yeah, he will. He will look like Fields this year. Uh, but this is the thing. I like. I like Bale, but. I'm um, keep it hundred. If he didn't have the options that they had in in the Eagles team, like bro wouldn't be close to who he is right now. I um, mean, last year he did pretty good. He went nine and seven last year. But the he Eagles team is loaded though. Last year they're okay. They weren't loaded last year. Uh, they only had De- Devontae good. Smith and um and Dallas Goddard. I feel like the I feel like the Eagles defense is, is like probably top in the NFL, <clears throat> and he had. I mean, <laughs> did he have Jalen Rager last year? Bro, Jalen Rager's garbage. Yeah, he's garbage. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, like that's a pro. <laughs> Jalen Rager was a first round draft pick, and bro, all he does is special teams now. That's bus, it, special bro. teams. Like, he bro, really cost Kirk Cousins two interceptions last week. <laughs> we'll let you return <laughs> kicks. They said we'll let you return kicks. That's about it, bro. You could take the job or what? <laughs> so he's done. He's, yeah, he's a bust. So but yeah. Speaking of, of Jalen, but anyway, I don't feel like Alabama quarterback is going to do shit. Besides maybe Jalen, I feel like Tua like, got two years if that, and he out the door. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like he out the door. Matt, your boy Matt, 
he I feel like he about to go take that that Braves quarterback route because I feel like the Patriots are gonna gonna probably end up rebuilding. Oh, Mac. Yeah, yeah, man, I've been out on Mac for weeks. <laughs> I don't care about him. You can rip him all you want. I ain't a fan. Um, and I don't even think I don't even think they're necessarily. I'll say I don't think Mac is just completely trash. No, but I, like, I just feel like he's um, just not good. Yeah, he's not like elite. He he's not elite enough to carry a Belichick offense. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's good. a whole other thing by itself. But yeah, so I think Tua on the way out. I think Mac on the way out. Um, they eventually, you know, probably get other opportunities at teams like the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be that could be good. Hey, we'll take a fourth. <laughs> we'll take a fourth for him. You know, it can't oh, be a yeah. first who's good on draft in the first. You know, he's already dropping out. <laughs> we'll take a fourth for him. But yeah, man. Yeah. But anyway, so talking about QBs, man, I know I said uh, you know, I was gonna talk about Jalen Hurts and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I've been kind of off and on these media storms. You know, watching people give their take on if he's MVP or not, and I kind of feel like I want to say yes, he has to be the MVP because I don't feel like Philadelphia would only have one loss if it wasn't for him. But at the same time, it's hard to say. It's it's like I feel like he's not better than Mahomes, bro. MVP is not if you're better or not. So you gotta you gotta take that question away. MVP is if you're having the best season. And that's, and right that's now, cool, right? But Mahomes is basically him. Mahomes is I mean, like he's making every kind of throw. He's dumping it to McKinnick when he needs to, making basically McKinnick look like he Eckler out there. And before mm-hmm. McKinnick was nobody for a while. Bro was basically like a low end, he was like a Sproles, you know what I'm saying, in the mix somewhere. And now, bro, looking like he about to get a contract. You know right. what I'm saying? And I feel like the the receivers he has, they have somewhat of a name because of where they came from, but they haven't been known to just be, like, number one receivers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he also has a number one tight end, and that tight end is number one by a mile. Yeah, but then, okay, so then Jalen has Goddard, which is great. He's definitely, like, top four. I would say Goddard is top four. Yeah, but I'll, probably if, right after if, Andrews. If Kelsey's ten, Goddard's like a six. It's like a huge difference. Kelsey's okay, in the island got, by himself. You got Devonte Smith and you got AJ Brown. And AJ yeah, Brown's I'll a beast. I'll give you yeah. that. Yeah, but if AJ Brown's a ten, I would say Juju's like a eight. So, so you less of like, a gap. Well, let's say this though: you feel like the Eagles could. Go. Let's let's say. Do you, do you feel like the Eagles would go like above five hundred if they didn't have Jalen? No, no, okay. no. Because Carson Wentz was at QB and they were trash. Yeah. Until yeah. Jalen became the QB. So. And I don't. I mean, at the same time, I don't feel like uh, 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 Kansas City would go. I feel like they would be like. Tanking. Yeah, they'll be under five hundred. They'll be under five hundred too. Yeah, but but at the same time, um, they had Alex Smith. They're still making playoffs. I mean, Carson Wentz was there. They're making playoffs every now and then, and they missed a couple. But the only thing is, I give it to Hertz a little bit more because one, he has a better record, and two, they're dominating. Like I don't know, have you seen the Chiefs the last couple of weeks? They're squeaking out wins mm. against inferior opponents. That's like right. Philadelphia is dominating for the most part. Every now and then they struggle, mm-hmm. but for the most part they dominate. That. So that's why I would give it to Jalen Hurts. And also, um, Pat, Pat Mahomes threw three interceptions against Denver. So that you know, when it comes to that yeah. top level, you got nitpick a little bit. You're like, ah, yeah, you're good, but you also make a little mistake. Jalen Hurts has six interceptions the whole the whole year. Like yeah. and that's incredible. And they don't really so know how much of a run game. Yeah, well, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I mean, he is the ring. But I'm saying, like, outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think he only has, like, two fumbles. So he doesn't even have that many turnovers. So I just feel like the stats are going to go to Mahomes. But if you look at overall, I think you got to give it to Hurts. So well, that's just me. I can see that. 
All right. Well, you know, I can't argue about that because Hertz has been doing this thing. I want to say he's been dominating, but he's been winning because there's he, even this last week. I think he won what twenty to twenty five against Chicago. Yeah, Chicago yeah. trash. So yeah, but he, but you, Harrison, you also gotta look at it. What's better, Chicago or Texans? Chicago, and Chicago. they came back. And that was a backdoor cover. Texans like, did they're up by two. Better than Chicago, to be honest with you. No, just overall, we're not looking at one side overall. And then that was a backdoor cover because they're up by twelve and they scored a last like second touchdown. Kansas City went to overtime and literally Texas had the ball and fumbled it, and that's how they won. So you know what I'm saying? Like they're winning more convincingly than Kansas City is. So. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they still struggled with uh, Green Bay a couple weeks ago. I think they won that by a touchdown. They beat the Colts by one point. Yeah, um, yeah. They, they lost to Washington. Yeah, um, but they, like, they beat hey, Arizona. Again, let's, let's be honest. If you stack them up next to next, neck and neck, they're more dominant. They lost one game, while Kansas City lost three games. So they already won that factor. And Kansas City, the last couple games have been close. Denver, they won by six points. Houston, they went to overtime. Los Angeles, they won by a field goal. So if you really got a nitpick, you can do it both ways. Because yeah, one looks more dominant than the other. That's all I'm saying. You can. You can. Yeah, it's tough because even if they go head to head, I don't know who's going to win that game. So I would pick Eagles. Yeah, pick, pick Eagles. Just because Kansas City's defense is not good. And we already see Mahomes can be off a little bit. He's just right. been lucky that when he's off, it's against inferior teams. But when he's off against teams like Bills, teams like Bengals, I guess <laughs> take advantage of it, he's going to lose. So. All right. I guess we'll give you a point there, you know. Plus, you know, Jalen Hurts looks like he's trying to win the Super, uh, win the Super Bowl this year. So we'll, we'll see because I, like, <laughs> I feel like the Eagles, I mean, are they the title favorite? Who's a Tyler favorite this season? I don't give it to the Eagles, man. I don't know how you can say not the Eagles, bro. Like, because yeah. the only thing that they didn't have was the passing. And Jalen Hurts, bro, that man showing he can pass now, though. Bob, <laughs> <Like, laughs> AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. There was one he was running to the sideline. Threw it to Devontae Smith like Patrick Mahomes and completed it. I was like, whoa, this guy doing passes like that? Yo. Well, sorry for the NFC East dog. Uh, he might make he might make Dak lose his job. I was <laughs> like, just about to say you're that. supposed to be Dak, <laughs> and you're not. Damn. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, I can't argue with that because uh, Jalen Hurts already looks better than Dak. So, uh, all right, all right. And so. let's be honest: on the offensive side, who has more talent, Eagles or Cowboys? What would he say? Eagles. I don't know, man. That's hard because you got That's Pollard, tough, right? You got Pollard and Zeke. Dak. Yeah. Even though yeah. Dak is mid, he's still okay. And then you no, got no, 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 minus the QB. I'm just talking about the QB. weapons. Yeah. I feel like Pollard. I mean, that's hard, bro. That's tough. But look, who yeah. looks way better though? <laughs> yeah. That's tough, man. That's tough. So, I feel like because really, so Eagles have it on the receiver side because Devontae. Yeah. And uh, AJ Brown is way better than CD Lamb and whatever else they put out there. Mm-hmm. Cowboys, like the other receivers, basically, like, mid. Oh, they have Gallup. Gallup's decent. I feel like Gallup, mid, but whatever. Yeah, I feel yeah, like you're not yeah, better than man. No, definitely not. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that's right. so we going with we going with Jalen, clear MVP. Yeah, Nobody nah, else by hair. By uh, yeah, it, yeah by it's smidge. a smidge. Not clear, but no, I wouldn't say clear, but he's leading. He's leading. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Well, is there anybody else y'all put up there? Oh, Mahomes. So just oh, Mahomes. just those two. What about Joe Burrow? He would have to have a great finish. Uh, he would have to have a, he, which he can, because he's gonna face the Bills. Uh, he's gonna face Patriots, Baltimore. If Lamar, because maybe he can. But I would feel like Patrick Mahomes have to lose one more game, personally, for him to have a chance. Damn. And Josh Allen's not. Oh, uh, Josh Allen's done. He's done right. Josh Allen was done when two was done. They both got done together. You know what I don't get, bro? 
I don't get how the Bills defense. I feel like for the last like two or three years, everybody talks about how good the Bills defense is. But I feel like every single game I see the Bills in, it's always a fucking shootout to the last second. Yeah, it's a fight. It's, it's a always a It's never like, oh, they have a two touchdown lead going into the fourth and they just got to close it out. I was like, no matter how much I see the Bills, Josh Allen is fucking riding in on a white horse to save the day. <laughs> like, and if he makes one fuck up, that's it. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, I'm like, maybe I just don't watch him enough. I don't get it, bro, but it's nah, no way. You're right. <laughs> You're right about that because they're not blowing out. Teams are supposed to blow out. It's yeah. always it's always to the last second win. So you're right about that. So yeah, it it, it is hurts right now. Hurts is the man. I mean, I know he's injured right now, so it's the time. Uh, Patrick Mahomes could maybe catch up to him if he has a big game, and then like Jeff, like uh, what Jeff say, if Joe Burrow has a nasty finish, he might get up there too. But right now, Hurts is the man. It looks like Eagles got themselves a steal. They got him in the second mm-hmm. round, took Carson's job, and they, they paying him peanuts, and they putting the team around him. So they're doing it right. It's like that GM went from, like, barely hanging on to his job to being the GM That's of the true. year. Yeah. It's, it's in one season. He fixed the whole roster. Yeah. Bro, he, I feel like he fixed the whole office just by adding AJ Brown. The whole like, roster. That's everything else. The that's roster. Everything else. <laughs> the guy picked up uh, Bradbury from the Giants in the offseason. So they got themselves a corner number two to go with their number one corner, which was good. Um, they picked up uh, Indomitian and Sue when they're. Their t- 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 their D tackle from Georgia. I forgot his name already, but Jordan big, Davis. Yeah, Jordan Davis, big boy. He was he was he he's a rookie, but he's the best D tackle they had. And he would he's a space eater. He was just moving boys. So when he got injured, uh, people were running up the gut. That's how Washington won the game. They just ran, 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 ran. Keep hey, we're not passing. Run the ball. <laughs> so they ran the ball till they won the game. So. Next week they pick up two. I think they pick up like Lindell Joseph and uh, Dominic and Sue. Plug in the D tackles. So now, I mean, even though they're old, but they're veterans, so they know what they're doing. So uh, they 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 kind of clog the hole up the gut. And then um, I'm forgetting one more person they picked up in the off season that helped solidify the defense. And then they picked up AJ Brown. So they got the number one receiver. Oh, they traded for CJ Gardner Johnson. There you go, CJ Gardner Johnson, yeah. who's having a great year. Yeah, he's on IR right. now, but yeah, he was great. He was, was having a great year. So it's like, damn, the GM identified the holes and plugged them up, and now it's like they're on a Super Bowl run. I'm like, damn, this guy was barely clinging on to his job just a season ago when they traded Wentz out the door, and now they might win the Super Bowl just like that. It's like. Most teams don't have a turnaround that quick, so I got to give them the props for that because now the Eagles look like a juggernaut, and they still haven't paid their franchise QP. So <laughs> what you going to say? Miles, um, damn, the running back? Um, Sanders. Miles Sanders. The guy's not hurt this year. I'm like, well, <laughs> everything's going right. That guy's hurt every year since he got drafted, yeah. missing games. This year, the guy's a pro bowler. I'm like, what the hell is really going on, dog? So yeah. props to the Eagles. They're doing something right. They must have they must got new uh, training staff. They're drinking some kind of steroid water. I don't know what they're doing over there, but shit different now. People staying healthy. People playing good. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you, Ryan. Hurts for MVP. Uh, I can't really argue. <clears throat> All right. So next topic, Jeff. Let me hear about the Bengals, though. What's good with them boys, Doc? Yo, Bengals. Bengals are a problem, man. Bengals, Bengals are a serious problem. I think they might be the best team in the AFC, bro. Not even going to lie. Mm-hmm. Um, they're tough to beat, man. Like, we're facing them. Patriots are facing them this week, and I'm just like – yeah, I'm not betting on that game for sure. Not like Joe Burrow's the truth. Their offense is good, and they can win many different ways. That's how you know you're a good offense. It kind of remind me of the old Patriot way, just because like sometimes you would you know 
when rushing the ball, like I still remember the Jonas Gray game. He had 200 yards. I think on um, Colts, ironically. <laughs> 200 yards, and then um, three days later, he was released. Right. <laughs> like, two weeks later, he was released. It's just they know how to win. Like, Joe Mixon wasn't doing great. I'm like, okay, well, we need a pass. And then they pass it to um, T. Higgins and um, Jamar Chase. The offense wasn't clicking, and then all of a sudden they got 30 points. So, yeah, they're a very good team. I think they're the best team in the AFC. So I'd have to select one. So, Damn, just like that. Ryan, you agree with that, man? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I'm kind of, like, worried about everybody in the AFC when it comes to the Bengals, bro, because they really consistently keep playing you. And uh, if they got Mixon out there, you know, Mixon doing his thing. Um, hold on, I'm sorry, Mixon, hold on. Is Talking about P-Ron? P-Ron? Yeah, P-Ron, because Mixon's been hurt, right? He didn't come back. Mixon, yet. no, he played, he played. He just, came back? Okay. Just playing time. He's back. Samaje was the one putting up the points and stats when, yeah. when Mixon yeah. was out. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, and they have a plethora of receivers that, you know, one go down, the next one step up, <laughs> you know, so. When that happens, you got that next minute mentality and your team got the depth to really do it, you can definitely go deep in the playoffs. And they already shown the Chiefs is shit to them. Like, the Chiefs just cannot beat them. They're basically, they're what the, what the Chiefs are to Josh Allen. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you leave one second on the clock, they're going to pull that shit out and the Chiefs not going to win. So, um, <clears throat> you know, they go down the road of playing – the Patriots, I feel like they'll definitely knock them off. Um, you know, if they go down the road of playing a Miami, I feel like they'll beat a Miami. Um, you know, as far as the Bills go, I don't know if I will automatically shoot them in to beat the Bills. Sick, but, I was about to say that or about the yeah, Bills. But, but it's really like, really the only people I wouldn't shoot them in to beat out of the AFC is the Bills. Mm. I would say Kansas City still out, even though they keep beating them. I wouldn't shoot them in for to beat them. Um, I mean, that's really it, to be honest. Damn, with the AOP, that I wouldn't be like probably the Bengals. Yeah. Damn. So, so if Lamar Jackson comes back with the Ravens, no, nah, I think they'll still beat. <laughs> yeah. Damn. No shot. Because because you know why. For some reason, just like with the Bills, the Ravens are supposed to be known for their defense. But every single fucking game, the Ravens get up, and Lamar has to still save the day in the fourth quarter. I don't know why this is happening. Maybe just because the NFL is the NFL is very competitive. But every single game, I actually get a chance to watch. Lamar barely pulls it out of the end. And if they didn't have him, they're not even getting that far. You're right. You saw last week. So it is what it is, bro. Even even early in the season when Lamar was like at his best, when he was playing the Panthers, they didn't even have a score. I think it was like late in the third when they got a TD. So it was like, it's like, bro, we we were tanking at that point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what what are you doing? Like, like right? Y'all think it's not us? <laughs> He's like, this is the best y'all got. Yeah. <laughs> this, is it. This, this is MVP guy? This is, this is a Cam Newton replacement, bigger and better version? <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So, damn, Jeff. I guess you're right, man. Them Bengals are them boys right now. I yeah, mean, bro. I can't. I really can't think of too many other teams um, that I would say for sure. That I will, I will, you know, pick over the Bengals. Besides, and I would, and, and you know what? Let me let me rephrase that sentence because I'm not even saying I'll pick them over. I just wouldn't automatically feel like they will get an automatic win. Um, it's just the Buffalo and Kansas City, the only two teams. And if we talking about even if we compare them to the NFC, the only t- team, Philadelphia and San Francisco. Yeah, I give you that. Even yeah. San Francisco, I think San Francisco would be a fight. I think Philadelphia yeah. will beat them, though. I think because we you know with Brock Purdy and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, 
What yeah. about Dallas? Damn, the Dallas suits to the Jags. Nah. And they're nah, out. Nah, nah. So we talking about Bengals with Dallas even, and Bengals. Bro, bro, even before, even before he lost to the Jags. Like I've been telling you for weeks, Dak is mid. I don't know why people you know, like people were laughing at me. Now it's like, bro, you're right. <laughs> like, yo, I checked the stats. Since he um since he came back, he threw the most picks. And then oh, for real? Wow. Yeah, I would never name back. everybody just to be middle of the pack. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah you want some money, I'll give you some money. Make sure you just ball out for the team. <laughs> the people he not paying, Pollard, <laughs> who's yeah. the one really balling out. Yeah. Damn. Everybody so got to keep playing. Is he, how many snaps he getting? Like, yeah. He a goal line back now. Damn. Hey, but Pollard be breaking it from 20 and 30 yards out. So right, right. He, get to, he got to hope Pollard fall in the five. Right. You know he's like, come on, Pollard. <laughs> you fall, in the, fall in the two, dog. He be praying for a little meat left on that bone. Come yeah. on, man. Like, come on. Get me in the red zone, baby. <laughs> I feel yeah, you. I, I feel you. All right. They, well, I mean, man. honestly, they – honestly, they – with the run game, how it is, I feel like – and I don't really see this a lot anymore – but I feel like they should go to a two running back set. I don't really see that in the NFL anymore. I don't know why. Why? Yeah. Like you should do that. I, I, I was saying that for the longest for the for the Colts when yeah. we had uh, Naheem Hines and Jonathan Taylor. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's not like you got real receivers out there. So at least put two running backs back there, make the linebackers hesitate for a second, yeah. and then maybe you could get the ball off a little farther. Like, come on, what are we doing? And why, why? Why doesn't nobody run two running back sets anymore? Yeah, man, I don't know. But obviously, there was some some meeting, and people just developed off of that. But they just, I, I guess, they moved off of it because they noticed something about it or it wasn't working out. But yeah, I feel like for San Francisco, especially as many mm-hmm. sweeps as they like to run, as many people as they have that could do sweeps and really like agile running back type of players, they should definitely be doing that. And if they broke that out in the playoffs, right? People, I'm talking about defenses. They shouldn't even do it in the first half of the game. Play regular, whatever, in the first half of the game. Come out in the second half of the game and doing that shit. They're going to be pissed, bro. Defense going higher. They're going to be running literally. I'm talking about the only way you're going to stop us is if you run those 40 yards across the field each way. You're going to be doing 40 yard sprints every fucking play. Right? Hope you're in shape. <laughs> yeah. We're going sideline, sideline, baby. You're right. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like defensive. Coaches, not even defense coordinator. Coaches, mm-hmm. you know, they don't see the obvious stuff the fans see. They like they're way deep in, and they miss all the little obvious stuff that could prevent big plays all the time. Or you could create big plays, like you say, if you wait and hold off to the to run back sets to the second half where they can't adjust because halftime's already over with, and most coaches are too scared to adjust on the fly, like in the middle yeah. of a quarter. So like, yo, this is what we practice. We could keep stick to the game plan. This is the script. We just got execute. So yep. they rather stick to their guns instead of trying to adjust on the fly. So if you hit them with that, they be like, oh, we don't got none the playbook for this. Uh, just figure it out, and then you you catch them scrambling. But nope, coordinators don't know how to do that stuff. It's like, I guess maybe Bill Belichick can, because it's Bill Belichick. He'll adjust on the fly. Yeah, but I will give Bill that. I will give Bill that. Yeah, he's not scared to pull somebody and plug in somebody else. He's one of the very few coaches. Yeah, um, that I will. You know, I'll give that to. Him. I really can't think of anybody else on the top of my head. Me that neither. I feel like we'll just be like, you know what, you fucking up. Nah, go ahead and sit your ass down. Right. <laughs> Bill, Bill Belichick will take. We'll take play play calling duties over for somebody too. Like if it's a playoff game and he yeah. feels like the coordinator's not doing the right calling the right plays or doing a good job, be like, ah, just sit down, I'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> the guy will he don't care whose toes he's stepping on. He yeah, could, be player, he could be a coach, he don't care. He'd be like, yo, this is my team. If you don't like it, you could catch the first greyhound back home, baby. Like <laughs> <laughs> if the man told Tom Brady could kick rocks, he ain't, he ain't scared of nobody, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Even Robert Kraft ain't gonna mess with him. Like, hey man, just, <laughs> just tell me how much, dog. Don't worry, the checks keep clearing, baby. <laughs> Bill Which, Belichick straight. <laughs> I know we didn't have I know we didn't have them on the list necessarily today, but bro, I honestly 
I don't know what the fuck is going to happen with Belichick. I mean, because if you let him go, somebody else is going to pick him up. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, man, come if on. I'm Kraft and I'm paying all that money, come on, I'm telling him, nah, bro, if you don't fix the offense this year, I'm going to fix it. Come on. We going to bring someone. I'm going to appoint whoever the fuck I want. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no way. Come on. <laughs> Robert Kraft is still clearing checks from Super Bowl W's. Hit Lamb Bell check. Bro, <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> bro, bro, it's it's like, like a 10 year window. I like, come on, man. Yeah, I, I got right to go um, fuck up. But Bra- got- Brady left, and all you left us with is looking like we can't do it. He got residuals still coming in, man. He's Everybody like, questioning the okay. ring. We rebuilding. What What are they rebuilding? That. Come on. They're not what? rebuilding. They tried, they, I thought like they tried to rebuild. Who's their offense? There is none. That's what I think mean. they're rebuilding. <laughs> I mean, Ramondre was it. <laughs> Bro. That's All I got to say is, man, y'all should, you know, y'all should be, bro. Man, y'all might as well just let everybody go. <laughs> on, the, on the offensive side, except Stevenson, obviously. Except Stevenson. Kevin Harris, though, he could, he's, I feel, I've seen him in college. So I feel like he's a good goal back. But, um, honestly, y'all should let, I feel like y'all should let all the receivers go. Fuck the tight ends. We're not paying nobody. I'm not paying nobody to barely to barely be able to make it in the playoffs. Right. Y'all could do that with a bunch of rookies. With Belichick, I feel like rookies. we might. I feel like after this year we might. So only if Belichick's not choosing those rookies. Oh. <laughs> Please, <laughs> no more. Duh. Yeah. Belichick's Belichick's the worst draft. Um, draft, I guess. GM in the league right now. Like the guy can't get draft picks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked up um, what's his face from Baylor, the skinny ass receiver. Oh, Tyquan Thornton. Yeah, Tyquan Thornton, in in the second round, right? Yeah. Second round receiver. Second round, Jeff. What's he doing for you? He's not doing much, but I can't <laughs> blame on him because nobody's doing nothing. I mean, but this is year in, year out with Bell checked. The guy gets yeah. guys in the first and second round that, eh, I guess, they I, I mean, I guess they're still in the NFL. But come on, man. He's passing up. He's passing up on talent every year. It's like, man, you could have got so many better players with that draft pick instead of the player you got. I think he feels like the guy has to fit his system. So if it's not his mold, He's not even looking at him, and that's not how you do it these days. You gotta go with talent over everything, and that goes that goes for the Colts too. I'm tired of my GM picking the good character guys. Like, yo, the guy's a good, he's a good kid. He, have you heard his story? He's a leader. It's like, okay, is he gonna score touchdowns? <laughs> is he gonna be the next Jefferson? Like, what's up? Like, <laughs> like Michael Pittman's good and all, but. To me, he's clearly not number one receiver, so we got to go get a number one receiver. Like, cause you keep getting these character guys, but we're not getting the talented guys first. So give me the talented guys first at the key positions, and then he could fill in a few holes with character guys, keep the locker room strong. But these GMs be prioritizing the wrong things when it comes to building the roster. So they gotta get that corrected, or, or they're never gonna be on top. You feel me? But yeah, um, I guess the topic we're talking about was the Bengals, and we went astray. But yeah, so um, next, I'll go and pick it up with the Jack. So that was that was the team I was talking about. Yo, who in the hell thought the Jacks were gonna be a playoff team when the season started? Me, I did not believe that at all, man. Because <clears throat> Trevor Lawrence is just. Before he was just a guy, right? <laughs> he was looking like he was trending towards a bus. You t- who are you telling? It's, it's like <laughs> this guy's supposed to be the next Joe Montana, next Andrew Luck, and he looks like the next Jamarcus Russell or some shit. I was like, who, <laughs> who, who's he supposed to be? But I guess we got blame on Urban Meyer then, because Urban Meyer didn't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. Urban Meyer gave him that Adam Gacy effect. <laughs> uh, Adam Gaze, I forgot about him. 
<laughs> I really forgot about that. Everywhere he went, bro, it just, it just, I don't get it, man. You know, you talk about the old boys club, like it got to me because how you just look like you're destroying the team and then somebody else hired you on that staff. Mm-hmm. If it was a player doing some shit like that, they'd be like, oh no, he's a cancer. Like, you're I right. How the hell? I don't know. But anyway, the point is, the Jags, man, they looking like they're on the up and up. Uh, and then the, the Tennessee Titans look like they on the downfall. So, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey. They're done. They're free falling. Tannehill's yeah. out, too. Hey. He's officially out now? Yeah. They, yeah, they said they say he might be out for a year. Yeah. Like, he, he might be done for a year. So, now. What, he, what happened to him? Did he, get, he sprayed his ankle or something? Yeah, it's an ankle injury. Probably just aggravated that same injury he had before. I feel like he had a high uh, uh, he had before. Despite the same thing, uh, J- JT's <laughs> going, and they shut him down too. It's like, yo, if you if if being mobile is your bread and butter, and you can't be mobile no more, <laughs> they gotta take you out, dog. Because it's not like Matt Ryan's gonna kill people from the pocket every drive. The guy be extending plays, so if he can't run and extend a play. Mm-hmm. To to his no name receivers, then take him out. Dog. Put put uh who Willison? Willis? Yeah, yeah. Put Willison. See what the rookie got. <laughs> well, well, that being yeah. said, though, I want them to let him go. I want them to let Malik Willis go. Not just dink it and dunk it. Try a bomb down the field. You know what I'm saying? Like to show who? us the potential at least. To who? But. <laughs> 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 Why are you gonna ask me a question there's no answer to? Okay, <laughs> Robert Woods. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy's done, dude. As I'm on Sunday, I'm like, oh, I need to get you off the squad. There's no hope for you, dude. There's yeah. no hope. You're old, dude. Every week they consider like the dead cow. It's like, man, is it worth it? It's not. I'll answer it for him. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's not good, dog. Yo, the funniest thing I saw was a few weeks ago is. After AJ Brown whooped Tennessee tight, oh, yeah, they let go the GM. Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, right after two. Because of you, because of you. I uh, no. Hey. So what AJ Brown left and they let go of the GM? A couple weeks ago, the Eagles played the Titans. Oh. And AJ Brown was the number one wide receiver for the Titans for the past four years or three yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And here's here's the he was their alpha. He was nasty. Yeah. But when it came to contract time, the GM's like, no, we're not paying you over 100, 100 million. Who do you think you are? We're going to just trade you and get a first round draft pick for your ass. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody, the whole state of Tennessee is like, what? <laughs> you going to let the only receiving threat we got out the yeah. door? <laughs> yeah. Like, who's taking over? <laughs> A Keen Westbrook or whatever his name is. <laughs> well, here's, here's, here's what they thought. They, I think they thought that the rookie receiver was going to take over because the year before, they saw, like, um, Jayla Waddle was nasty. Devontae Smith was nasty. Jamar Chase was nasty. And keep in mind, this is all one year. They're all rookies, and they all had nasty rookie years. So they're like, man, we'll get another nasty rookie, and then don't have to pay him shit. They thought Traylon Burks was going to be that guy. And I'm pretty sure we all know Traylon Burks would never be A.J. Brown. Never. No, uh, <laughs> no. I don't even think he's going to be good. He looks fragile. Like He was already having um, breathing problems in training camp. Oh, yeah. what? So I mean, what was like, this some college, though? Did they not know he had breathing problems? That's like some – I don't know, like, is he pulling a uh, Ben Simmons? <laughs> um. I feel like they didn't do much research research on him because they trade him like you know they trade AJ Brown for that first round pick like this, yeah. not like it was something like premeditated. It was like more like in the moment. But either way, they look at Trey Lombard so like, yeah, you're never gonna be that. We need yeah. a fight. Right? <laughs> out, out. I, I, I was cracking up. I'm Sad, like, oh, out. it's funny when you sit back and think about shit like that because GMs be thinking that the smartest guys in the room like, no. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll replace him and we'll get a mad cheap, better talent. He's younger. Y'all be thinking me. Don't worry about it. Let his ass go. 
and the you know the owners probably him and then howling like mm, i don't know we are tennessee nobody comes here so if you let aj <laughs> go <laughs> nobody's coming in free agency to come take his spot like mean, look who we got we got robert woods that's the best we got over the offseason mm. nobody's coming to tennessee so we probably should let our best guy go but since you're just the gm i am paying you I'll take your word for it. And then after they got their ass with the no, no, no. Get that GM out of here, dog. We can't Immediately, get dog. <laughs> like within the same week. He couldn't even hide it. Everybody knew what the reason was. We didn't even do one first take that morning. We knew why. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's sad, still bro. funny because this GMs be cocky, it's dog. It's like, no. If if you're smart, you play it safe. You'd be like, mm, do I really want to put my name under a trade to let AJ Brown go? Or do I want to play it safe and give the man his money and we'll figure it out? Like, come on, man. Once you make bold moves like that, you better be right. Because if yeah. you're wrong, they're not keeping you around. They can't let you make two mistakes like that again. Yeah. They like they can't afford another mistake. So next thing you know, you go trade Derrick Henry, right? It's like yeah. right. Derrick Henry's all he got now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Literally, their <laughs> offense looks so bad now. Like, it wasn't even great to begin with. Now it's bad, bad. It's right. like, now Gozium, some random dude's like their best receiving option. I'm like, what? Okay, man. <laughs> I don't know what the GM think is. Like, yo, you only got one, one receiving option. You don't have a tight end. You don't have no other receivers. It's just A.J. Brown. That's it. So if you want them to not load the box and stick all 11 players in the box to stop their Henry. We need AJ Brown. <laughs> but no, the GM thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Thinks he got to figure it out. No, what we want to do is save some money and we go trade AJ Brown. <laughs> and now look, you went they be to acting like if they save the money, they get to keep it all themselves. Right. I'm like, right. yo, you're the number one team in the AFC just last season. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You didn't, you shouldn't exactly. even be here right now. You yeah. shouldn't even be number one, but you here. So something yeah. was you did something right. So try to do it again and add a little more to it this season. <clears throat> I felt like their coach. I don't, I don't know if he won the uh, coach of the year, but I felt like their coach was coach of the year candidate the previous two seasons. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, what's his name? Ray, 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 Bro. Ray, Bro. Ray Bro. Yeah, yeah, Ray Bro. yeah. Yeah, he's good. I'm a Colts fan. I've been one in my career, but ever since he's been whooping our ass. I'm like, man, now that's a coach, man. That guy's going to get in his players' faces, call you out when you're fucking up, let you know when you're bullshitting. I like that. You straightforward. These are NFL guys. You can't you can't pat around if they're fucking up. You can't just beat around the bush. You got to get in these guys' face. Hey, we're paying you this. If you can't handle it, the next guy will take your job. Like, let them know up front. Like, yo, this is a business, so. Handle your business or we'll find someone that will. So I like that no-nonsense kind of coach. And even Mike Vrabel, before A.J. Brown was traded, he's like, over my dead body. He ain't going nowhere. I don't know what what, what news people are telling y'all this and that. A.J. Brown ain't going nowhere. And then when draft night comes, A.J. Brown's out the door. You see his face just stiff. Like, like, <laughs> it's like if only you could get a lot of looks from his house, right? Like, <laughs> GM over the war room, he in the corner kicking shit. Right, he's probably cussing everybody out. GM overruled him, and he can't do nothing about it. So, like, man, you let the only receiver I got out the door, and I got to depend on a rookie? Come on. And it's not, it's not like the rookies from Alabama or Georgia. The guy's from Arkansas. Like, come on, man. What we yeah, doing here, yeah, dog? Yeah. What we it's doing? Bad. So... That's just humorous. Yeah, South Carolina receiver. You know what I'm saying? Hancock receiver. Those guys play in the XFL. (laughs) 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 Damn, rip. That's funny. I know you ain't talking about Kevin Benjamin type players, are you? Oh. They play on the couch. Hey, at least, at least you know Kelvin Benjamin. Kelvin Benjamin. Kelvin Benjamin. I forgot about that tight end. I <laughs> <laughs> only big. got one receiver, though. That boy only has Debo, and that's it. That's not true. South Carolina got a lot of receivers. First cool. of all, we had Alshon Jeffrey using that thing. Oh, Alshon Jeffrey got him a ring. You know what I'm saying? 
got Debo on that thing. Uh, Shai Smith is Shai Smith is pretty good. Who? Who? Don't worry, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> talking about who? Hey, uh, that doesn't ring a bell. Okay, you should have left it at Alshon Jeffrey and Debo. Hey, hey, and, and you talking? And you talking Harris from on the on the Patriots right now? Gamecocks. Harris? I don't even yeah. know who. Kevin Harris? Yeah. Oh, I'm done. Come on. On the Gamecocks <laughs> right now. The, the, the guy who got like ten the Patriots right now. Before. Nah, bro. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, so we're now he gets get touched up for the Patriots. Like, oh, no. Nah, he got one. Out. He got now one. Bill. Running back was injured. Now it's he Bill. He got one. Whatever, though. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Debo and that's it. Right. We all over the NFL. And Israel, and Israel, Israel McCollum. Don't know who that is. Yeah, I know you don't know. Is it Israel a country? You're talking about that, Israel? Phony Israel, I know. No, Israel is a Hey, I decided. Never mind. That's the second Israel I know. <laughs> I got went to the UFC. We got, uh, Rico, we got Rico Dow on the on the uh, again. Uh, these guys I, must be from Juco, I, man. Uh, I don't next topic. Know where uh, next okay. topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we got end it with our teams because I already talked about the Jags, the Colts. Ryan, go ahead and let me hear about them Panthers, though. Ain't nothing much to say about the Panthers, bro. Uh, they suck. For, for okay, me, we're done now. So <laughs> reason. Oh, shit. So reason. Uh, Sam Darnold is supposedly moving up. The quarterback, powerless. But uh, when I when I'm looking at these different articles and whatnot, but um, he didn't really do shit against Pittsburgh this past week. Pittsburgh defense is straight, but like, come on, bro. That's it. Like he should have been able to do more. Um, with that being said, also the Lions' offense is ridiculously good. So even though we have a good defense, I feel like if the Lions keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and our offense isn't able to do shit, then this is going to be a long ass game. But I will say this though: the only thing that we're able to bank on is that the Lions, who we play this upcoming week, their defense is nowhere close to Pittsburgh defense. That's the only thing. So maybe we might be able to keep the run game going because basically what happened was Pittsburgh shut down the run game and then our offense was not able to keep up. <clears throat> and the defense kept having to come back on the field. They didn't run away with the game, but our offense basically just never got clicking. With that being said, though, if we lose to the Lions this week, that's basically the season. So we're not going to be able to make it in the playoffs unless the Bucks just completely, like, lose the fuck out, which I don't see them doing. Because they play Arizona this week with, like, a third-string quarterback, and Arizona already had no defense anyway. So if the Bucks don't win this shit, they don't deserve to go to the playoffs anyway. And I'm sure we'll be able to beat them the next week. <laughs> so, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Bucks will be able to win the next couple of games um, to be able to slide into the playoffs. Yeah, so we basically just on the hope and a prayer this week that we can push it off with the Lions. If that happens, if we can beat the Lions, I'm pretty sure we can beat the Bucks again. Then we go into the playoffs. But if basically if we don't beat the Lions this week, then we might as well start tanking. You know what I'm saying? And uh, get that top five pick. Yeah, top five pick. I don't know who the fuck we going to pick. But... All right, you know, Jeff. I don't even want to. I mean, I don't even want to. You being so. I mean, if we talk about QBs, y'all probably gonna end up with Anthony Richardson, then, right? Yeah, and I don't want them to do that. I feel like that's just a, just a placeholder. I would rather, honestly, I would rather give Sam Darnold like whatever minimum we could, and. Um, use one of our draft picks to trade for um, uh, Hawkins, and okay. and, load the, and get the, and get an old lineman in the early part of the draft pick. I mean, early part of the draft. So we got DJ Moore, Terrence Marshall, and the wide receiver three, and Hawkins, and then we got the run game going too. You know what I'm saying? Like I do that, or we or we pay an old lineman. You know what I'm saying? And then we we still paying Sam pretty much close to nothing, uh, you know. And then 
<clears throat> also get Hopkins. And so our wide receivers, you know, can be trumped up. Um, and we drop B. John Robinson. So okay. Got a for sure young running back. Got a fresh O line. And we got three receivers that can catch it and, you know, with space. So, yeah. So, I feel like y'all don't need a running back though. Our running backs are straight. Uh, they're they're high. They're high. They're not like dynamic though. Because we don't have other things. Like we don't like people can put everybody in the box right now. You know what I'm saying? DJ Moore is good, but he's not a for sure number one, like if y'all keep trying to say. And he's not like, oh, you gotta double cover him every play. Because we got a weak ass quarterback. It's not like we got Rodgers back there and can just force the ball in there. So, but that's all I got to say about the Panthers. We just got basically we, we win this week, and then we got the whole season in front of us, or we lose this week, and it's off to the offseason. So. Join the Colts. <laughs> hey. The so Patriots good. ain't far behind, homie. I was just about to say they they're pretty right. close behind. Yep. They they step behind us. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a week or two to figure it out if y'all gonna be a playoff team or not. That's about it. So yeah, y'all gonna be right. Patri- Let's see who the Patriots play. The play Bengals. Uh, but no, the rest oh, of the year. Bengals. They're not gonna beat the Bengals. So and y'all, I don't know, like the. the I don't know, Did he man. say Bills? Yeah, Bengals, Bills, Dolphins. Yeah, I don't think y'all gonna win three. Hey, y'all. they be lucky if they win one. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come I on, y'all. I don't know, bro. Hey, man, do you believe in magic? Nope. <laughs> I feel like y'all might be believe in miracles. That's about it. Maybe the Dolphins, because they be... That's, I think. That's it. That's it. That's Not it. Bills? Maybe nope. Bills. Nope. Nope. Oh, you know what? Maybe they sit Josh Allen. Right. Oh, they might. They, they might. might sit Josh Allen. <laughs> y'all might get in on the on the you know y'all need on a little help. Technicality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, it, if it's not for that, they shut the door on y'all. Right. Patriots suck too. <laughs> yeah. And y'all not even the top ten. So I don't know what the hell y'all doing. It's like to be y'all honest get, with y'all. To be honest, you know, Patriots is just a, a little step over the Panthers. Y'all got an O line. Y'all got one running back. Y'all have no receivers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got y'all got tight ends. They getting old though, but y'all got tight ends. You know what I'm saying? And Mac is a little bit better than than uh, um, Sam. Sam, yeah, Sam Donald. Yep, you're right. You're so, right. Y'all really just a little wow. bit better. So, so right. you know, the same stuff I'm talking about, your team might want to think about doing this all season. Yep. I need to lock up. They're number one. Nobody's going to go to the Patriots. So y'all going to have to trade for them. Right. <laughs> who who tried to play with Bill? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. So they either draft who they who, who they need or they get it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever there's a free agent, they always look over the bill. I mean, oh, Tom ain't there no more. Next, <laughs> you know, so, somebody trying to, you know, you trying to make the narrative that Tom might come back. Why? To what? To what exactly? <laughs> to what and for what? Why? He might as well stay with the Bucks for that. Come on, man. There's too many other better options for him. Right. Can go to, he can go to Miami and just put a middle finger up to Belichick every single year. Right, twice. You know, twice. Knocking y'all out of the playoffs every year. Damn. Have y'all you know, crying. Right? Yep. But was, was it Bill or Tom? It was Tom. Yep, it was. I, come on. We already know that. It was Tom who's carried those rings. Dogs. It's cool, though. It's cool though, cause Bill, Bill got his money. He got his, he got his fame. He got his rings, so nobody can take that away from him. But we all really know. I love you talking about my team, and I don't even hear say a word. There's no Whatever. need to. There's no need to. Yeah, but they spoke for you. Usually Jeff would already stick in, st- stick in a few words by now. But he's like, "Ah, oh, they right. Let me go ahead and quiet up right now." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't detect me lies, you know. Right. Well, only speaking facts and truth around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Whoa. so. laughs> it's about time, Ryan. Uh, it's been too many <laughs> years while watching the Patriots beat up on everybody. It's about damn time, dog. Y'all yeah. down here, y'all down here in the nosebleeds, Jeff. <laughs> I was say we're stuck in 200. Y'all in the nose, you know? Damn. Be there soon. Damn, right? Be there soon, man. Bro, so he in the 200s now. He's going to be in the 200 with the 16th draft, 16th draft pick, dog. While we in the top 10, don't worry about him. Don't worry about him, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. So, right. who, y'all, who y'all want? I mean, so we're talking about the Patriots, though. I don't ever really hear about the pay- coming into – the draft. I never really hear about anybody being the perfect person for the Patriots. Man, or the there's Patriots just some being interested in a particular person. There's just some things you don't waste your time on, and Patriots are draft picks. I don't because they always just draft some random person. I don't even watch the draft half the time. They trade out, so that's that's just a waste of time to think about. <laughs> you, you spend the right, whole night getting drunk. Right. Waiting for the draft, like, oh, we coming up. Four more teams left. Doop, 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 doop. And then they draft a center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even waste my time with that. So. <laughs> You're right, Jeff. Nobody can ever guess who the put of Pates Patriots are drafting. Uh, for like 10 years plus now, everybody think they would be drafting or they should be drafting. They don't. They get some guy out of the D three college, or some some center out yeah, of bullshit college. Weirdo, it's, it's like what? The only person that we got that we could 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 have guessed was Mac Jones, and that didn't turn out so good. So, I guess well, you're right. The Mac Jones was the first pick in probably twenty years that people probably guess right on. Because who else? Who else? Yeah, had. Who's your quarterback again? Oh, I forgot his name. The kid out of Auburn. Oh, Jared Stidham. There you go, Stiddy. Mm, I forgot all about that man. He's still he's still on the team. Nah, he's nah, not. Last team. time he went to Raiders, I don't know if he's still on the Raiders though. Yeah, we he, him to the Raiders. He's on the bench somewhere, Doc. He's still there though. But yeah, he's silly. The Patriots, man, it's like if it wasn't for y'all defense, y'all would probably be the. Uh, top five worst team in the league. I'll give you that right yeah, now. But we'll leave that for, for Colts, though. Colts got that. <laughs> so, who, who you, you got, is there anybody you want in the draft for the Patriots? Any, have I haven't even looked, man. We still have a we still have an outside chance at the playoffs. So I'm not yeah. where you guys are at. Well, we all want to go deep. Hope. Y'all uh, like the so, first round elimination. Yeah, right. Y'all not even thinking about getting in. So, y'all, mm-hmm. y'all out. So I'm not thinking that far deep because I still have hope. I understand why Harrison, you know, Harrison just he been lost hope by like week week nine. You still have hope because you're in a garbage division. That's the only reason why you have hope. But you know, we still have hope because we're actually mediocre. So I haven't I haven't thought that far out. So all right, bro, all don't you right. have bro? Don't you have eight losses? Or you have seven. Seven. Why are you Why are you trying to make one more? We should have six. That uh, bonehead play. Should have killed a Jacoby. Bro, I can like, bro, y'all have seven losses and the Panthers have nine. You acting like y'all just wow. running away. Wow. <laughs> hey. That's a substantial difference. You know, two, 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 two losses. losses over an 18 game season. Well, nine means you you can't be over 500. Yeah. I'm out here less than 500. We used to have a chance. So, you know, let's say, just say it. You know. Okay. Exactly. So let's. I'll put it. Fifty dollar bet. Y'all won't make 500. Oh no! no, no. We good. Yeah. <laughs> he won't even bet on his team we to win. That. There you go. Have you seen who we facing? Facing the oh, top so of the AFC. Even, you know? Y'all got a chance though. It's Bill. Hey, y'all facing the top of the AFC. Bill, right? uh, we good here, dog. Uh. And then we oh, trust, baby. Yeah. He the quarterback, here, the receiver, and the O line, the D. Right? What happened, Jeff? Play, Bill played twenty-two positions. We don't like that one. Money. That's what happened. Yeah, I got the goat coach. What's good, man? No face. 
We're chilling, though. We're chilling. He's still out there playing Madden at the hardest level, okay? He playing every – he controlling everything at once, okay? Hey, hey, we still have the glory days, and those glory days are long. Those glory Damn. days, you can stay up a whole week look at those glory days. Uh, I like Panthers. Y'all shit, y'all, y'all shit this in a in a magazine article. Y'all don't even need DVD. What was the that, last? What was the last time? Fifteen and one, it? Superman can done. Glory days over. <laughs> for you, for years, there still be like a thirty minute segment. <laughs> for me, it'd be days, marathon, an hour long segment. <laughs> we gotta make appointments to watch it. <laughs> So he's going at the glory days, uh, going straight to DVD. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, DVD sets. <laughs> Here's part Yo, one. I, part I, I feel like y'all should start calling the Andrew Luck curse, bro. Bro, really left y'all in the channel. Y'all was in yeah. channel. Y'all thought he was basically Jesus, and then he was like, "Nah, I ain't put that on my back." And walked away. <laughs> oh man, that's sad. Damn, he's not lying though. <laughs> you saw that article he he said about Which being one? the Colts QB. Yeah, the one that just happened. Damn, that's sad, bro. What are you saying? Um, he was basically saying that um, it's not worth it. It's too much stress. Um, he had an iconic line that he said about it. He but basically yeah, he basically lost his identity. He's like. He had so much pressure on him to be a great football player that he didn't really know anything else. So when he'd go home, he wouldn't know how to turn it off, and he'd get into fights with his wife. He had uh, a a baby uh, that was on the way, and he wasn't really being a good father. When the baby came, he was just always worrying about how to be a better football player because he wasn't – he. He was supposed to be like the next Dan Marino or Joe Montana, so he had all this pressure on his shoulder, and he'll get injured every year. So all that stuff would just build up to a point where he couldn't handle it anymore. And then his wife threatened him too, like, "Yo, it's to the point where you go choose football, or you go choose us, because we're not gonna here sit here sign up for this for the next 10, 15 years." Yeah. So and you're just gonna get physically worse. Yeah, and he got sick of it. He's like, man, every year I don't get vacations. I'm in rehab. Like, <laughs> he's like, I, I don't get to enjoy being a football player because at the time the Colts O line was like the worst O line in the league. Yeah. So my my guy was mobile at first when he first came out of Stanford, but after a few years, my guy had too many surgeries. So it's like, <laughs> I can't even walk. I can't even walk right. I can't run. I can't play with my kids. In the off season, I'm sitting at home. I'm coming back to a facility to rehab. Like I can't get better because I'm just trying to get back to where I was. So yeah. after so much time, he's like, "Man, this ain't worth it. I made my money. <laughs> I I proved I proved I could play in the NFL. I got to the playoffs. I'm good here." So I feel him after a certain point. It's like, man, if the Colts ain't gonna build me a proper roster, and I'm killing myself every year, year in and out. The guy had a lacerated kidney he played through. Like, who the hell knows how that feels? None of us. Yeah. You be, you give me a lacerated kidney, I'm, I'm out for the year. I don't care what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what? My kidney don't work right? Like, yeah. what, what's the side effects of having that? Do you shit wrong? Do you eat wrong? Like, too much gas is getting in your, in your bloodstream? Like, what's going on? Like... There's just too many injuries to keep trying to overcome the year in, year out. So at a certain point, people could call him soft, which that's fine. You could call him soft. I mean, I, I call him soft at that at when that first happened. But after a few years, when you said look back and you like look at the human element, it's like any one of us would probably end up making that decision too. I mean, some of us would gut it out and be like, fuck it. I'm playing football. I'm gonna keep doing it. Whatever it's whatever. I'm gonna fight. But some people be like, "Yo, I already made hundred million or made eighty million dollars. I'm good for the rest of my life. I'm in my twenties. Do I want to really want to keep going on this route, or do I want to just enjoy my life? Because I already made it, you know. So 
it's it's a business decision for you too as an athlete at the end of the day so it is what it is left Colts holding the bag we still recovering five years later but yeah, man, at least he could have been like a commentator though I mean, well, he's gonna disappear. I don't even know where the fuck he at no more. I mean, he'll need to work. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he's like, I don't need the money. <laughs> and and if you're a commentator, guess he, he guess, got a big deal though. Yeah, because he got his next contract, and and the owner let him keep the guarantees even after he retired. So most coaches, I mean, most owners will have done him slimy, be like, oh. We get at least our guarantees back or whatever is left on the contract. The owner let him keep everything. Like, go ahead. It's a parting gift. I'm sure he probably, like, wink, wink. After you heal up in a year or two, we got a key left under the mat for you. So come through when you're good and ready. But I think mm-hmm. nigga never came back. He's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good right here, homie. So he just uh, he just went ghost for a few years. He he got off the radar, you know. Enjoyed his family, enjoyed his life, and now he feels comfortable enough to get back into the limelight and give his story. So it is what it is, man. It sucks. It happened to us, but at the end of the day, the only person I could blame is the GM. You should have gave that man an O line, so he wouldn't have been getting two, three surgeries every year. You know? Yeah. Cause surgery's no joke. Who wants to do that every year? Yeah, that's true. So, that's rehab on like your knees and stuff like that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not like it's not like quick stuff that gets resolved in two months. My guy was getting getting rehabs for like ACLs and and major surgeries that takes the entire off season, and then by the time August rolls around, they still wouldn't clear him till right before the season start. So he would have to use his whole summers up to just get back to where he was once as while most players are getting better, you know? So you you, you give Mahomes an off season, he done learn how to read defenses better, he learned how to throw in better angles, he's learning new different things to add to his game. Meanwhile, Andrew Lux just learning how to walk again, you know. So it's tough for people. It's tough for them guys, you know. So it is what it is. <clears throat> But yeah, that's that. So to wrap up this podcast tonight, uh, Jeff talks about his Patriots. I talk about my Colts. Uh, Ryan talks about his Panthers. We talk about the Bengals, uh, Jalen Hurts, and Jags. Any last words before we get to uh, Thursday night picks? <laughs> Jags play, I don't know, who they play tomorrow? Um... I don't know why I want to say Lions, but I know it's not the Lions, bro. I think it's too sorry. Um, it's Jaguars versus Jets tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. I'm picking Jaguars. <clears throat> all right. All right. So let me go ahead and write this down because I got last week's vote. Let me see if I got the lead. Here you go. So uh, Jeff picked the Seahawks last week, and Ryan and me picked the 49ers. So we're up. Let me go ahead and mark, mark our W's. Ryan. I'm not really sure why you picked the Seahawks. But. I was just trying to be different. You know? oh, okay. oh, yeah. Ryan Harrison, one win each. Jeff, zero. <laughs> <laughs> per usual. Right? Ain't nothing new. Yeah. All right. So this week, <clears throat> it's going to be Jags versus Jets. So, Jeff, go ahead and redeem yourself, bro. Who are you going with? I got the Jag. All right. So Jeff got the Jags. Any reason why? Uh, Trevor Lawrence, man, he looks good. All right, so he's going on. But I did say I was going down a beer if I lost, so I got the oh, beer right here. Got the beer. Oh wow! Go ahead and do it on camera. Right. Truly though, it's the truly. So it's no, like... no, nah, it's a seltzer. Yeah, so truly. All right, right. No. <laughs> it's a truly. All right. Unless it's a, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It, it ain't no four loco, right? <laughs> Je- Jeffrey remember those four loco days. I got was out for a week. He threw up like nine times. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that shit. Damn. Well, yeah, there we go. You feel <laughs> very refreshed after that. <clears throat> yeah, I feel good, man. 
All right, so sparkling water. You don't even drink beer. I don't know how you're ripping me. You don't even drink. I drink, beer. I drink as as I'm offered the seltzer yeah, in here. Yeah. That just sounds know, like bull crap. Sip on. All right, so mo- mo- moving forward, if we lose on our picks, do we pick our drink that we're drinking? Is that what we're doing? Mm. Like, like. You get the option beer, seltzer, <laughs> shot. Beer and seltzer is the same shit. Yeah, I'm just beer saying. Beer and seltzer not necessarily the same. Because I would choose a seltzer over a beer. Really? Mm-hmm. As far as taste wise. All right. Yeah. So beer, seltzer, and shot, then, right? It's yeah. two to three. Beer, seltzer, shot. I mean, well, ah. I guess. I was about to say, one shot feels kind of too easy. No, I'll do two shots. Two shots. All right. So let me go ahead and write two that down. Is, two shots is better than a seltzer? Yeah. If you down it, bro, downing a seltzer is hard. That was hard for me. Okay. Two shots, one beer, one seltzer. Man, all I got to say is Zay Jones, bro. The, I'm mad. Man, I'm mad about that. The... Zay Jones came back to back monster weeks for you, dog. I need that right now. <laughs> yeah. I need him to pull off the most monsters week this week. Right. I guess pull. Major Burke. Come on, yeah, man. man. Finish the job, Ryan. Take him out, man. We tired bro, of I was guys. so mad. I wish I would have just if lost you, the death. Bro, if you beat him, if you beat him, I might come back. I'm not even gonna lie. If you beat him, I might come back. Okay. A lot of pressure, that It's all on your shoulders, Ryan. We need to take Zach out. Uh, this man's been dominating for too long. I mean, yeah. he only got one chip, but we already see it. the streak's on its way. So we need someone to take those legs out now, dog. Bro, I wish I would have played him last week, man. Right? Yeah, you got to beat him. Man, those bye weeks be saved them because that's two years in a row. Last two year, years in a row, bro. Last year was the same thing. Last year during his bye week, his team yeah. shit. I'm like. His team put up like 90 points last week. I mean, last year, I think. He keeps skating by. It's like every time his league, I mean, his team finally doesn't perform, he finds a way out. It's like every time, man. He has like four people that's like questionable on his roster right now. I'm like, bro, please all of a sudden just sit out. Right. Please sit out. Please. And it would be nice if there are quarterbacks. If his quarterback could sit out, yeah, but he got Lawrence. He got Lawrence. So, like, if Lawrence, I basically. I feel like I need to keep Zay Jones in because if if Lawrence does good, it seems like it's going to Jones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So basically if if Lawrence is not that good, then that means Zay Jones probably not gonna do as good. But it's kinda like offsetting. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But honestly, I really thought about when the last week of the regular season, I was like, man. I'm, it, I might be better off losing, and I because I was in the bracket with uh, with uh, Trace and McKenzie originally, mm-hmm. and I was like, I already know I can steamroll past them. I wasn't worried about. It. I'm like, I'll just go straight to the championship. But I'm like, uh, that'll be like I can't throw the game. That's not like integrity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you saw that whole mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, and then the next week just for Hippy and um and what's your boy name? Nathan to yeah, just Nathan. be in that battle. So the did y'all see from the beginning what happened? Because to me it seemed like Nathan had all his starters on the bench as well. So I don't know if like Nathan started it or Hippy started it or what. It was Hippy who started it, so Nate matched them because okay. I end up I end up uh, going and looking back, they have each other's first round picks. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're trying to not let the other get a better draft position. So that's why they're trying to tank. So I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. So they should just switch them though. Like I feel like Chase and um, and Major Burke and Zach let it, both of that that talking go on way too long. Yeah. I would have looked that in the butt. I would either just switch the draft picks or I would have forced them to put in the best possible players, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. even, even if I got to manually do it myself or after the fact that people play and I got to, like, fucking be like, okay, well, it's just going to be best ball because y'all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't I think- have just been going back and forth with them about that shit. 
especially with Nathan. This dude is like, <laughs> bro, it's exhausting, dog. It's exhausting to go back and forth with him. Yeah. You're not getting anywhere. You're just talking. It's you never get progress with him. <clears throat> they they never encountered that situation before, so I'm sure in the offseason they're gonna implement the best ball scenario for the consolation round because you have yeah. to. Because if, if that situation happens again, there's no reason to keep going through this back and forth. Just do the best ball, and whoever performs the best on the rosters, that's who's going to be the starters, and that's that, you know. So yeah. that works out. But, yeah, so we got Jeff ch choosing the Jags. So, uh, Ryan, who you got? I'm going to Jags, too. All right. Uh, Go ahead, I believe in Lawrence. We copy cut. Uh, more importantly, I don't believe in Zach White. I mean, uh, Zach, what's his name? Zach Wilson. Wilson. Zach yeah. Wilson against the Jets. I can't remember his name. Yeah, no, no blame. It's because, it's because Mike White, you know what I'm saying? He's a real starter. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. It's 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 hard. It's hard to go with the Jets right now because. Hey, to be honest with you, a lot of people are sleeping on Garden of Ministry, bro. But I feel like the Jets would be a next level if they had Gardner Minshew. He can move the ball, bro. I don't know, and that's why that's why Eagles not letting go of him either, because Gardner Minshew can move the ball. <clears throat> I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if if he, if I was Gardner, bro. You know, if after he gets his ring this year, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because obviously he's not gonna beat Baylor Hurts out in the battle. I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna go test my luck, man. Especially on the Jets if they don't draft the quarterback. Yeah, let me go ahead and go over here. They got a run game already. O line's okay. They got a defense. You know what I'm saying? So receivers on the come up. Yeah. Matt, they got a bunch of receivers. Mm -hmm. So and they don't need you to they don't need you to win the game. You don't have to do with Brady, Josh Allen, right? Uh, Green Bay, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be that. He just needs you to not fuck up. And you can't be doing worse than Zach Wilson. Right. Like Zach, so. Zach Wilson's a bust. Uh, he's another Sam Darnold. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I feel like Sam Darnold better than Zach Wilson, to be honest with you. I mean. Uh, this is the thing. Sam Darnold can get the ball moving, but he just doesn't like. He's just not confident. <laughs> you can tell. Like I, I don't know if it's just like the quarter, the quarterback or uh, offensive coordinator coach has a rain, you know, in on him or what. But when he like he's pulled out some wins for the Panthers before last year, he definitely came back and beat the Vikings for us. It's like and it was all on him. So like I've seen him come back and pull out some wins before. I mean, it's tough. Zach Wilson. Oh, yeah, uh, I guess I would pick Sam Darnold over Zach Wilson. Like, what Zach Wilson showed to you that like he's not he's not much of a mobile quarterback. It looks like his arm's not that great, and it looks like he makes a lot of mistakes. It's like, what's the upside there? Nothing. There is none. He's all yeah. the, the like creating on the. He's not a creating on the fly. You know what I'm saying? The play break down, he breaking down. Right. It's like it's hard it's hard to even pencil positive. Like at least like in that division, you could be all right. Mac Jones is a serviceable game manager. If 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 you're open, he could get the ball to you. You know. He he could try not to lose you the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't put the you can't put the team on his back. But he could get you a drive to probably win the game with the field goal at least. Yeah. Zach Wilson's like you holding your breath every time the ball comes out of his hand. It's like yeah. damn. <laughs> <laughs> like you hoping he get, you hoping he can get it out there. You know what right? I'm saying? Like, <laughs> is this the play that with the interception happens or not? Like you don't know what Zach Wilson's gonna do. Don't get tipped. <laughs> right. He can't count on it. Bro, out there playing volleyball. <laughs> he can't even count on the first down from that man. Yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna throw out for the Jags too. I I almost chose the Jets. Some like Salah's gonna take the ball out of his hand, 
He's going to run, 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 sprinkle a few passes here and there, but it's going to be run heavy. But then I thought about it. I'm like, the Jags could play either way. They got a good running back, and they got a good quarterback. So they don't have to play one style like the Jets have to right now. So I guess I got to go with the Jags too. Damn, we're all going for the Jags this time. Yeah. Last, last time we did this was the Tennessee Packer game. We all chose the Packers and all had egg on our face. So <laughs> it's, t- <laughs> it's tough to agree all three on one team again. But mm. nobody That's wants cool. to put their faith in Zach Wilson. <laughs> hey, watch well, how crazy it is, man. James Robinson going to come out of nowhere and ball out. Here we go with James Robinson. This is the L. This thing was the L. Hey, James yeah. Robinson going somewhere next year, okay? Yeah, XFL, dog. <laughs> Yo, at least you believe it, dog. You say he's true to your people. If I was James Robinson, since a lot of them are always hurt and they got Christian McCaffrey, the work at least the minimum, I'm going to 49ers. You know nobody gonna pay me, I'm bro. He ain't getting bro. no PT on the 49ers. He's too slow for that offense. They'll be like, who <laughs> that? What? <laughs> hey, learn under Kyle, dog. Learn under Kyle use check. Not who that? He way too slow for that offense. They'll be like, what? You ready? Nah, you be fullback. <laughs> We got a spot yeah, open for, for second string fullback. You got a spot for that. Oh, Lord. That's too funny because he's not lying. <laughs> they'd, be I, like, uh, they'd be like, race to use check. <laughs> and if you beat him, then he can be a running back. He probably still would lose. Bro, not, bro, not that bad. Y'all acting like he wasn't just all of his ears. <laughs> He had a good. He had a bunch of good weeks this year. What happened? I don't know. What happened, with what the happened to the He got traded to the Jets. What happened to JT? And he became healthy, healthy what happened to Camara? We don't know. We don't know these things, man. I, I can tell you, those guys got injured. He just was a healthy scratch. That's the difference. <laughs> 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 Say what you want, bro. Next year, bro, coming right, back right. harder. You yeah, know what? NFL, dog. MVP. You know what? We'll we'll give it to next year, dog. But after after week three passes hey, look, by, hey, look, even Marlon Mack came back five hey, years later. Hey, you know what I'm my boy, Mac, years later. yeah, my boy Mack doing this thing right now. All right, I'm All gonna right. pick look, one guy. McKinnon, out of McKinnon came back. Like, that could be him. <laughs> McKinnon came back. Um, what's the name? What, who else came back? Um, okay. You, okay. You know what James Robinson reminds me of? Okay. He reminds me of Carlos Hyde. A Carlos big Hyde. body ready back that goes around everybody and their career just dies eventually. So he's gonna be. Yeah. I mean, Carlos was serviceable, though. Yeah. So was James Robinson serviceable. Until so he wasn't. Damn. So, <laughs> Damn. That's what he's gonna be. Rip. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and got our selections for Thursday Night Football in. Next week, we'll circle back, see if we're all right or wrong. If we're all wrong, we're all chugging. So get your drinks ready. You all right? We, we, we're drinking no matter what. If, if I mean, if we win, we cool. If we lose, we all drinking. So get your drinks ready. We got to do this. Keep this shit going. Season's almost over anyway, so ain't too much more. But, yeah, we about to let this shit go. It's been real. It's been a good time hanging out with y'all tonight. Till next week, y'all be easy. Peace. Bye. Mm-hmm.